In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a couple of things. Number one, the power of parametrics within design, which should be pretty evident from using Inventor thus far. And also, what happens when we have one-offs in our design. So in this scenario, I have a drawing of a sheet metal transition. And I've not taken the time to add a rip yet. That's okay for what we're discussing today. So here is a copy of the model. And then if I look down here, here is the drawing which has annotations that I've retrieved from the model. So you can see the size of the rectangular transition, you can see the size of the circular transition, and then the overall length of the part. So the power of parametrics is when I come in here and make a change, say for example the diameter changes from 8 to 9. <clears throat> so I go ahead and hit done. My model has changed and I go to the drawing and we see that it has updated just fine. That's what we would expect. So let's say for example though that this should be 8. That's what it normally is. And so we always keep that at 8. But we have a one-off. So it's the same part that we normally make but now it's a one-off version. If I was to come up here and I do a save as. And so now I have version 2. Just for sake of simplicity, I'll just make it version 2. The trick is, is the drawing is still tied to version 1. So what you can do, and this is way more efficient if you have a data management system like Vault, you could do a copy design of the drawing and the model and make the update at the same time. But you could still do it through Windows and through a local process. If I come up to this drawing, for example, and I decide to save it, and then do a save as, I could do the very same thing. And so I've already got most of this drawing dimensioned, so I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel, but it's referencing the wrong model. See, it's still looking at transition one component. So what we can do to fix that is go up to the Manage tab, and now that we're in drawing two, we can replace that model reference. But before I do that, I actually want to go back to my number two part and let's make it different. So let's make this say 10 and we'll make the length maybe 16 instead of 12. So we're going to just change the part. It's the same basic design, but we've had to make some changes for a unique situation. And so we'll go ahead and save those changes. And then if I go to my drawing, it's still looking at model one. So I will go to the Manage tab, Modify Panel, click on the Replace Model Reference, and what I can do is I can actually take the Transition 1 component and swap it out with the Transition 2 component. And what's nice about this process, especially if the parts are very similar, is that a lot of the dimensions will, will just simply adapt to the new geometry. So it gives me a warning to make sure, do you really want to do this? I do, so I hit yes, then I hit OK. And you can see that the model has actually changed and the drawing has updated to take those changes into account. So you may end up having to do things like maybe sliding the views around a little bit. But other than that, it should transition very nicely to using the newer model reference. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. But using that model replace can be a really nice way outside of Vault or data management to uh, do one-off type designs. Hope all is well. Have a blessed day.